Hello, and welcome to our life. We are exactly one month away from our winter wedding, and we are going to test drive our wedding looks today. Yes. Jeremy, what are you gonna wear? Nothing. Wow. <laughs> Bold. Maybe I'll join you. I've been having a bit of a crisis the last few days about um, what the f I'm gonna wear to our wedding. I feel like I had it all decided and now I'm having doubts. So why don't I show you and then you can um, reassure me that it's fantastic. You don't have any doubts. You've had your shit lined up for months. <laughs> Except for shoes. They weren't shiny enough the first time around. No. Mm, my baby needs shiny shoes. For the tux, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> tux shoes. Tux shoes for the tux. All right, I'm gonna go curl my hair. Do you wanna come? You can come with me. Okay. The hair is curled. The hair is being zhuzhed. We're almost there. This is the current idea. I've got this silky reformation dress. Uh, pearl white blend stones. Closer up with the dress. Dress, dress, dress. Hair, hair, hair. I uh, just ordered this cute little pearl choker that is not here yet. But I have something uh, approximate that I can show you in the meantime. There we go. Pearl choker situation. I mean, I think it's a dope outfit. Just like objectively, very, very pretty. But it's sort of like, oh my gosh, come here. Come to me. And look, our greens match. The green silk bow tie and the green dress are the same green. <laughs> like, pretty sick. That's pretty good. I guess my only question is like, is it a wedding outfit? You know what I mean? Or is it like a black tie solstice outfit? And is that okay? Because it is kind of like a fancy solstice party as well as a wedding. And I know only I can know, but I need you all to tell me anyway. Because why else are we doing this if not to get solicited and unsolicited opinions about our life. Jeremy is hiding in Lee's garment bag with their tux. I think he wants his own outfit. You can just see his eyeballs. Wow. I spy a harbor seal in desperate need of a rub. Yeah. Go stretch. Go stretch, baby. Is that better? Here's the outfit again. Blundstones. Reformation. Me. <laughs> And the most important part of all, a baby texting in the background. Yeah, but well, hello. It is later. Do you want to see the pig we got from Dave and Buster's? We won him. <gasps> On. Whoa. And then it should change color. Is it gonna? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, you can make it stop. Yeah, it's a it's high tech blue. pig. Holy crap. And then Pat Thoroughly light will be off. Pat Thoroughly? No, thirdly. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. This is what you get for reading the instruction manual, I guess. Good job, baby. <laughs> We're supposed to pat it, but he likes to be squeezed, apparently. Not well, patted. we all have our things. <laughs> yeah. You know? Look how cute he is, though. I love him. The best prize Dave and Buster's has to offer. And they had a slushy machine. So, it's really saying something. We are going to spend the evening embroidering, as we have been, for what feels like years. <laughs> um, but we are going to put on an episode of my new podcast that just came out. Um, while we do so, check this out. A beauty to behold. This is the first audio fiction podcast that's come out in the world that I'm the sole writer on. It's very exciting. So if you are into audio fiction, check out Underwater on Spotify and wherever else you listen to things. Look at these cuties. Well, we've somehow ended up in like matching Christmas jammies this evening, which was not entirely intentional, but here we are. I'm keeping a list of all of our guests' first names for the wedding. We have about 100 people coming, almost exactly, and about 70 embroideries done so far. So we are closing in on our goal. Um, we do need more teas. Working on a big D myself. <laughs> it's very silly. Let's crank this podcast. We're on episode four out of eight 
of Underwater. And new episodes will be coming out every Tuesday, so if that's your thing, take a listen. It's kind of like a romantic thriller, and it is starring Jason Derulo himself, a fact that we've had a little bit of fun with, meme-wise. Jason Derulo! Jason! The only thing I knew about Anna's life in Los Angeles was that she didn't want to talk about it. But whatever went down in the city of Angels, they still had her looking over her shoulder. Uh, but yeah, this is a uh, live footage of what our evenings have looked like lately. <laughs> Very scandalous. So scandalous. Married life and such and so forth. We have returned to the homeland for the day. By that I mean New Jersey. Uh, we had to come drop the cats off with their grandpa before we head out on our Thanksgiving trip to Oregon. So we're doing some suburban tasks, getting some groceries for dinner, vibing. Look at this. Wow, so authoritative. So handsome. Lee and I share the title of Passenger Princess. Mm. But today it is me, and I will enjoy my reign. <laughs> what? What did I do? Mm. What did I do? Did I? Yeah. Oh. Mm. No, I didn't know. It's actually kind of chilly out here for the first time this season. Um, but I can't resist the fire pit whenever we're here, so I'm gonna do my best to try and whip up a little fire for us, even though the wood is pretty wet, so we'll see how far I get. So we're off to a pretty decent start. Use the old dryer lint stuffed into a paper towel roll. Fire starter trick. Got my little baby sticks. Letting that get all nice and spicy, and then we'll see if we can get some of those actual firewood burning. I had to take the grate out because all my embers were falling through, and I started over. So let's see if this works any better. I have a comrade in my fire making effort now. <laughs> Look at that. Teamwork. <laughs> the wind is helping. Hear that? Mm. We had a side quest coming to New Jersey as well, which was picking up the rings that we are going to use in our wedding ceremony and also going forward. Um, both of which are heirlooms from Lee's family. <laughs> Look at that camera work. Damn. <laughs> this one was Lee's dad's originally, and this one was Lee's grandma's originally. So we're going to have them resized and have some pretty family heirlooms to wear as a symbol of our love. <laughs> so the gold matches very nicely from my engagement ring to organize for my wedding band. Pretty snazzy. I love hand-me-downs. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I do feel at this point that my job has just become wedding and probably will be for the next month. <laughs> but it's okay because I have a great <laughs> support team. And obviously, Lee and I are uh, splitting the tasks between us. Um, the wedding invite design was me. Mm hmm. Yeah, a lot, of the, a lot of the paper, and the decor mm -hmm. um, choices have either been Lee's invention or a little collaboration. Well, not invention, but choice. Choice. Like choice. All that online shopping practice you've done has really paid off. Yeah. <laughs> you know you know how to go through a website. I do. You do. Mm -hmm. The menu we definitely collaborated on. Still working on the seating charts, which are always mm -hmm. a doozy. I've been doing a lot of the creative lifting with like the ceremony script and the speech that I'm gonna give and stuff. Which I guess makes sense given my profession. Chasing down RSVPs and such has been on both of us. <laughs> That's the most annoying part. That's, yeah, but it hasn't been too bad. We've been dividing and conquering. Look at my domestic little herd right back here. Wow, I'm so lucky. Mmm. 
Mm. Who knew? Apparently I have a catchphrase. Um, I'm sure many of you will be able to relate to this, but there are a lot of like silly voices that occur in our relationship, most of which come out of me. <laughs> and sometimes they are attached to characters and sometimes they're not, or just personas. Personae? Anyway, during uh, COVID lockdown, like OG COVID lockdown first month or so, we were, you know, a little stir crazy. Uh, and one of my coping strategies was funny bits and funny voices and funny characters just to keep both of us entertained. Um, and one of those characters was uh, Julie Garden, the illustrious Julie Garden, who is Judy Garland's uh, less successful cousin. <laughs> just, you know, the same kind of like old timey mid Atlantic voice, uh, but just completely unable to really land a punchline or a complete thought or anything. And the, the, the recurring vocal tick of Julie Garden was just, mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess that has stuck around a bit. Um, maybe I'll whip out that full impression for you one of these days That's when I've had a little bit more wine. I only have just begun, so. And I got my Raz Cranberry LaCroix. I actually don't really like LaCroix, but it's here. It is here, yeah. What was that like post going around that was just like a bunch of people digging on LaCroix and one was like LaCroix tastes like if someone goes into the other room and shouts a fruit. <laughs> you know I mean? Yeah. That was funny. The ghost of a fruit. <laughs> the idea of a fruit. Yeah. Yeah. We're not big not big seltzer people. But you know, we make do. We make do. I hear my hair. Eh. Did we show you our invites? I think all of the relevant information is covered. Um but this is the vibe. Look how pretty. We've got some gold foil, the pretty evergreens, and all the details, which, no offense, you're just not allowed to know. But look how pretty. This was one of Lee's, Lee's picks, the invite, and I think it's perfect. And it actually ended up matching our color scheme mm -hmm. um, that we landed on. And the shape of the certain yep. things at the venue. Mm hmm. Really just uh, top notch. Aesthetic choices, my darling. Jeremy! Hello! There's my boy. This is the cat's country house, we like to say. Because um, they end up here quite often. We never leave them home alone. Um, anytime we come to Al's, they come with us. And Al is our go-to pet sitter as well. So they're going to be hanging out with their grandpa the whole time we're in Oregon next week. One of my favorite things about coming here um, is going on baby picture hunts of this darling angel you see behind me. Um, I'm obsessed with baby pictures. Some people are bored by baby pictures and home videos, but I truly cannot get enough. If I've known you for like five minutes, I want to see every single baby picture that you have of yourself. Um, I love the lore and there are always so many good ones lying around. Let's see, what, look at this angel, ready to ride into battle. <laughs> this is my baby. Lee and their dad, Al, when Lee was just a little elf baby. Can you even deal? See, still just as angelic as when they were a wee one. I can't deal. I really wish we could just clone them and end up with another one of those, because that'd be great. As far as I know, that is not commercially available yet, so we will pursue other avenues. Mm -hmm.